everyone and welcome back to another vlog. My name is Brittany of BrittanyJJones.com if this is your first time tuning in. Today is Wednesday, May 17th. It is 8 o'clock on the dot um, and I'm actually getting ready to head to Columbus. You guessed it. <laughs> um, but today is my nutritionist appointment and I'm really excited about it. If you missed my last vlog, I talked about going to the doctor um, and they did put me in a referral to go see a nutritionist. I'm going back to uh, Fort Benning, which I believe is now Fort Moore on my way there um, right now. But I wanted to start vlogging because I didn't vlog at all last week. Um, so we have missed graduations our niece graduated um it was mother's day on sunday and it was also our 16 year anniversary me and jerome i didn't vlog any of that i was just in the moment really just enjoying family um enjoying my husband so it's the perfect time to start back vlogging <laughs> but before we get started with today i do want to rewind just a little bit um because i did shoot some footage um like around may 6th through the 8th i believe um, but I was hesitant to put it out because I was so close to the camera. And I was like, when I was looking back at the footage, I was like, girl, back up. <laughs> I really got on my nerve. I was like, why are you so close? But it's just different. Like when you, when I'm looking at myself now, I feel like I'm back far enough. But when I put it on the computer, I'll be like, bam. But I really do think that was some really good footage of just like family time and things. Um that I do and I'm not sewing with the family and stuff. Plus it was our son's track meet. So we're gonna rewind back and then we will come back and I'll be on my way to go to the doctor. Hey y'all, it's Friday, May 5th. The time is 6.07. I'm out here at our youngest son, Jakeem's soccer game. I'm really hoping that they get some goals. He said in the car that he hopes they win tonight. <laughs> I hope so too. Um, but first, thank you all so much for your love, for watching the last vlog I did. I'm really happy that y'all enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for your kind words too and encouragement. I'm going to make sure I respond to everyone. Um, today has been, you know, kind of sort of busy. It was early release day for two of the children. Um, so everybody got out at different times today. One got out at 11, the other one 11.30, one of them two, one of them three. So I did a lot of back and forth um, getting children from school today. Um, what else happened? I did finish up that so long. So... Well, I didn't finish up the so long. I finished up the neck edge. I told you all I was going to slip stitch that closed. I did that. I was trying to finish up the hem before I left out for the game, but I just ran out of time. So I'll finish that up tonight because like I told you all in the last vlog, tomorrow we're back in Columbus. So yeah. Um, tell me why I totally dropped the ball on the number of so longs I need to do. I said I had to do three, which was the men's jacket, the dress I showed you all, and the skirt, which I actually um, passed off to partner Mimi. Um, but I think Raven, Raven is going to be doing that. So you all will see uh, that so along from Raven. Um, tell me why I totally for didn't see and didn't notice that that vintage pattern I showed you all with the tie on the shoulder. That one had a so along QR code for it too. And my name's beside it. <laughs> I was updating the so long log today because the Nomi designers are submitting their so long. So I'm uploading the so long log and I'm like, why does my name have four so longs beside it? I wasn't like stressed before. I'll be honest, when I realized that, I got a little like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to meet the deadline. Got a little nervous, but we'll see. Well, I, I should be able to pull it off. But if not, all will be well. I will get them uploaded as soon as possible. <laughs> So I have a lot of work to do in that short amount of time. So I'm just going to prioritize that and get it done. I'm not going to be staying up too late. I'm not going to be stressing, but I'm just going to do what I can as best as I can, as much as I can. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. Today is May 6th. It is, let me find my phone it's in my back pocket, 8.37 a.m. Today is the day. 
driving back to Columbus, Jay Sean um, is running in the sectional meet today at Connect Stadium, which happens to be where Hubs and I met at Shaw High School in Columbus, Georgia. Um, Jay Sean has already left. He asked to ride with um, like the coaches and a few of the team members. So we dropped him off at seven at the school. We're not gonna leave till maybe about 10, 11, because he doesn't run to three. And there's no point of us sitting out there from 9 a.m. to after three till he runs. So we'll probably get down there maybe around, we'll get on the road maybe around 10, get there around 11, go to our, my in-laws uh, for maybe a few minutes and then go to the track meet. Okay, I'm sitting that right there because my arm was tired, but let me show you all what I'm wearing. I found this. This was one of the things I bought from, Am not Amazon, from Old Navy um, Tuesday when I stopped. So I got this on and I got a pair of Old Navy jeans on. So um, yeah, thank you all again so much for y'all kind comments and remarks um, on the first vlog. I'm going to be responding. I probably respond today while we're driving too. Um, so yeah, justice is up. We're going to cook breakfast and get Saturday started. Hey y'all, happy Monday. Um, a lot of catching up to do. I think where I last left off at, it was Saturday and we were at um, our son's track meet. I think he did really well. He went out, he competed, he worked really hard, ran his races, stayed focused on what he could do. Um, and we're excited for his future in, in track because I think he's a fantastic um, track runner. He's great at the sports that he tries out for. He plays basketball. He does football too, and he does um, track. Um, we also went and picked out Hubs a suit, men's warehouse. I mentioned that we have a wedding coming up um, the end of this month, so we did go do that. Um, as far as church goes, we're still looking for a church home. We did go visit a church here locally. We got invited, and we really liked them, so I probably will go back and visit um, their church. I got invited to another church here as well, we haven't went to go um, check them out. And I really want to go with Jerome. I don't want to just go visit churches um, on my own. I want it to be a decision that we make together on where we want our church family to be. Obviously, with God leading us um, to the right place, I want Jerome to be there with me. So, All right, y'all. So I told you about the Anna Luisa campaign that's coming up. It's their Mother's Day special campaign that they're doing. Um, and we have to do more storytelling in this campaign. Uh, yeah, but it's like a campaign that I have to really think about. It's not just sharing with you all the new pieces that they sent. And so I'm trying to come up with like, like my story. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go with, uh, just talk about my mom. She still taught herself how to sew. She still sews, but yet she gets my stuff. I don't, I don't understand that. <laughs> So yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with that. Okay, I got it. So let me film that. And I need to film the intro and the outro for the so alongs. I'll be done with that. And then I need to really edit and start sewing. I may start sewing tonight, but the guy, like my contact for Anna Louisa reached out. He's like, hey, just checking in. The deadline's getting closer. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm getting it, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs>
All right, y'all, we are back. And so now let's go ahead and head to the car um, so I can get to Columbus on time to my appointment. It's at 10, like I said, it's 8.03 it's 8 right now. I did get a package in the mail. And I think it's like one of those car silicone things that I purchased that I can sit my tripod, not tripod, my vlogging camera on. <laughs> Why is this just randomly out the box? Okay, so anyway, this is the tripod I got for the car. Not tripod, why do I keep saying that? It's just like a camera suction cup. Can y'all see that? So I can put this, my camera, on top of that while I'm in the car. That way I can keep my hands on the steering wheel. I can stay focused, but I can still like be just talking while I'm driving and, and like getting that footage without it being in my hand or without me um, like turning it on whenever I'm at a red light <laughs> and then turn it off real quick. I can just kind of keep it rolling for a little bit, but I don't got time to put this together right now. So let's go to the doctor. Hey y'all. So I am done with my nutritionist appointment. I got there at 9:56. Appointment was at 10. Um, so I thank God that I got there on time. Um, and of course I had to wait like five minutes anyway. Um, but I really did enjoy that appointment. Um, she really helped me to kind of realize I, it's things that I already knew, but hearing it confirmed uh, by someone else just made more sense. Um, so I was, she's really trying to get me to change my way of thinking when it comes around food. I sometimes eat from a place of scarcity, thinking that, oh my gosh, this is so good. I need to eat a lot of it now because I don't know when I'll get it again, which I don't know. I know where that line of thinking came from. I do remember. I remember the first time I overate. Um, and I remember our family, we had ordered. I was in high school. Um, my mom had picked up some church's chicken. And I was. I had already had two pieces. I think I had like a leg and a thigh. But I was like, if I don't go back and get another piece now, it's not going to be any left for me once my dad and brother come through here. <laughs> so I went back and I got another piece of chicken. I was so stuffed, so uncomfortable. But that started the place of me eating from a place of lack and scarcity. Um, so she was saying that I need to get out of that mindset and realize that, uh, or I need to overcome that way of thinking um, because I can always, you know, eat and be like, okay, that was good. I don't want to eat anymore right now, but I do want to put some away for later, maybe for tomorrow or for leftovers. Or if it is all eaten, um, maybe someone else, the children came and ate it or whatever, I can just go by maybe a little bit more tomorrow. Um, but I don't have to sit in one sitting and just eat, eat, eat because I'm thinking that I won't have any more. Um, so that was one thing that I'm like, yeah, I, need, I do that and I need to get out, get out of that thinking. Um, another thing that she mentioned was I do have an issue with wanting to clean my plate. Even though I'm full, I don't want to waste any food. Um, and so she was recommending always to kind of start off small and then add to it as opposed to loading up my plate, especially if I know I have that mental um, that I need to overcome. So I'm not, I don't want to waste the food, she said, but you can always, you know, just put it away for the next day. And I'm like, yeah, I can. <laughs> um, so again, these are things that I knew I needed to work on. I'm sorry if my thing is tapping and holding my arm out while I'm resting it on the window. Um, but hearing it it's like okay these are issues and on top of that i'm an emotional eater especially when i'm stressed and overwhelmed i eat i don't sleep good at night i probably get maybe four and a half maybe five hours it's even less than that on the weekends because hubs is home um, and i'm trying to catch up on all my netflix shows <laughs> um, and it's even worse if i have a deadline due then i'm going to be staying up till like 12 one o'clock so i have some habits and things that i need to overcome and adjust and I think just adjusting that would be great I hope you all can still see me I hope I didn't go blurry but I am I want to run a couple errands while I'm in Columbus it's 12 o'clock I have one hour so first I'm at books Barnes and Noble because not Barnes and Noble yeah, it is I'm at Barnes and Nobles because um, our nephew is graduating this weekend last weekend our niece graduated and we gifted her a money book um, it's hot up in here why don't got the air on my goodness um and so since he's graduating we're gonna go get a book that's what jerome and i gift people regardless if it's weddings well not this the wedding that we have coming up i already like i bought something off of the wish list or the registry um but typically we try to give books and so we gave her a money book so i'm gonna go find him uh, a money book too 
as like a graduation gift. Um, and then I want to go down to Joann's, which is right here on this trip. I need a zipper and I need two inch wide elastic for so long that I'm have to get started on tonight. And then I want to go next to Joann's to Tropical Cafe, grab me some lunch. Um, they have like this chicken burrito thing that I like. Um, and a green smoothie. And then, and then if I have time, I do want to pop into Best Buy. Um, and I want to look at a camera. I don't need a camera, but I actually purchased another camera. Um, somebody's messaging me. I actually purchased a num another camera, like end of last year. Um, but then I took it back. I wish I wouldn't have took it back. I wish I wouldn't have taken it back because, um, yeah, I was going to buy something else instead. But I really like the idea of having that camera for creating additional content but I ended up taking it back um, and I I won't say regretted it but I wish I would have kept it so I do want to go see if there's anything down there that I could use um, just for like a content I won't say a content camera but I don't know I don't know I may not go into Best Buy if I go into Best Buy without a real plan I may end up spending money that I don't need to spend but let's hop into Best Barnes and Nobles right now No way. <gasps> no way. I have not seen myself in Joann's yet. The one that's closest to me don't have the patterns. Can't seem to put them out. No one there to stalk. All the excuses. Oh my gosh, my hand is shaking. I'm so nervous. I did not just walk in here and put this pattern out and then pretend <laughs> that it did that I didn't do it. Someone just had it sitting here. <gasps> Look at your girl. Y'all go support, support, support. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at Gwen. Look at Gwen. Wait, where are our patterns at? Hey, there we go, there we go. What's up? Look at her. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Wait, are we in here or are we just, I don't know why it's turning yellow y'all. Sorry about the light. Wait, this is old. Cause I didn't do, oh my gosh. Look at everybody that hurts. Ah! <gasps> <laughs> oh gosh, that just made me excited. <laughs> oh, there they are. They're over here with the new looks. Oh my gosh. Look at that. So excited. That's so, that's, that's awesome. Y'all look at God. What? Look at God. Look at us. Y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back in the car. I got my lunch um, I got the Caribbean jerk chicken wrap um, bag of chips and the island green I think it's island green smoothie so that's my lunch I'm gonna 
eat that while I drive back. I got the book for the nephew and I'm not gonna go. Oh, I also went to Joann's. I got two zippers because the pattern calls for either a seven or nine. I couldn't quite remember, but I know it had two inch wide elastic. So I got that. I got some more black thread just in case I was out. I can't remember. Um, got some Taylor's chalk too. I was in men's warehouse with Jerome. He was getting his uh, suit. She was like pinning him to make um, alterations to it. And she was just whipping that <laughs> Taylor's chalk. And I was like, I don't know why I don't use Taylor's chalk. So, so I grabbed some to just try it. I'm usually using my heat erasable pens, but you know, we'll see. I may end up liking the chalk um, as well. So I got some of that. I also got some scissors. I cannot find my LDH rainbow shears which I'm kind of nervous because if one of the children took my shears with my name engraved on them. We're not gonna think like that. They are somewhere, I've misplaced them in the sewing area. We're gonna find them. When am I gonna find it? I don't know, so I just got some more just in case. I know I have the black midnight shears from LDH. I think I know where those are, but I went ahead and got a pair of scissors just in case I can't find anything. Um, so yeah, now instead of going to Best Buy, cause I'm not going there, I don't have a plan anyway. So that would be a setup. So instead of going there, I'm just gonna go out to my in-laws and drop off this book so that they can take it Saturday because uh, Jerome isn't coming home this weekend. They have drill week. So he won't be able to make it home. And the boys have travel basketball tournaments this weekend. So I won't be able to drive back down. So I need to leave the book so they can give it to him. So it's 1240, which is great because my in-law is on my way out toward getting back home. So I can just drop the book off and keep rolling. So that's what I'm about to do. Hey y'all, so it is many hours later in the day. Um, it's still Wednesday, May 17th. It's 9, 19 p.m. And I'm about to start filming for Sew It Academy. This month's course is some um, pleated trousers. They're really cute. Um, and they have uh, an elastic back. Uh, I do wanna catch y'all up. So um, I did make it back. Thank God, made it safely back from the doctors. When I got back, I was tired. Like I was getting a little sleepy while I was driving. I got back at about 2.30 and I laid down for 15 minutes. I got up at 2.45, went to the school to pick up the children, came home. Um, I tried to lay down again. I think I laid back down for maybe like 30 minutes. Went back to the high school. Well, I didn't go to the high school. My son was staying out there. So I went to the high school to pick him up. Came back, started like getting things situated. Um, and then took our second oldest to his AAU basketball practice. While he was at practice, I went to Target. I wanted to get a few things for the house. Like I wanted to get like a new, um, table runner for the table and a, like a little plan or something um and I also went to bath and body works to get like some scents for the walls so i did that and um i went into Publix. i was hungry at that point because i didn't eat again since uh earlier in the day when i showed y'all i went to a tropical cafe so i was pretty hungry um so i went into Publix, which is kind of right there in that whole little shopping complex i got one of those sandwiches that they have pre-made um, little turkey sandwich and I got a little thing of fruit with strawberry pineapple and then I drank like a Celsius little drink by that time it was like 7 30 so then I went to get Jalen his practice was over at 8 came back home got here like at 8 30 told the children that they got 30 minutes downstairs <laughs> and then 9 o'clock y'all gotta go so I can start filming so that is where we are now um, I need to change out the thread on my serger it has purple thread in there so I'm just gonna continue prepping and hopefully by 9.35, 9.40, I'll be ready to start pushing record on all the cameras and I can start filming. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And I'm gonna go ahead and end out the vlog. If y'all watched it and you enjoyed it, thank you all so much. Please give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, turn on your notifications so you know when the next vlog goes live and yeah. That is all y'all. Thank y'all again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Lessons everyone, bye.